Craig from Arms and Armor today. And today we're going to look at one of the swords of the ancient Greeks. We've just completed this custom order and we thought we'd take a look at it. It's the Xiphos. It is the classic sword of the Greek warrior. It is oftentimes considered a short sword, but in reality at that time and period, this was a sword. It wasn't necessarily short or long, just a sword. The Xiphos has a distinct leaf-shaped blade. Sometimes it would have a little more leaf down in this area of the blade. Other times it'll have more of this classic leaf shape that you see right here. Uh, you have seen this oftentimes, I'm sure, in not only historical period types of blades, but also fantasy. It's one of the favorite blade shapes of that genre. Uh, many people compare this to uh, what Sting looks like in Lord of the Rings. It is the classic Greek sword of the classical period. The Cretan Miocene culture created this type of sword. They would have originally had them appearing in kind of a bronze sword where you have this type of shape and then a uh, structure of the hilt with the scab style grip on there. And that would have been it all in bronze. And then later on, as they evolve into the Iron Age, you start to see the iron blades with the iron and uh, bronze hilt components being done as separate units, not integral to the piece. So the whole thing is very much a classic Greek sword. They would average probably in the 18 to 24 inches overall. They are uh, fairly light. This one's just under two pounds, works very quickly. Uh, in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but this was the type of weapon that they would have gone to probably after their main weapons, which were spears. The dory or spear and then the lighter javelin would have been the main weapons of the Greek warriors in the phalanxes, and you would have seen them carry multiple javelins and a large uh, spear to fight with, but when they were in the context of uh, getting prepared for battle, they would have the sword itself on a strap over the shoulder and they would wear it just on their left side so they could easily pull it in the context of having to deal with a fight. So you see these very uh, elegant little weapons, fighting, hand-to-hand -hand fighting knives is what they really are, uh, designed to pierce and cut. They are both uh, elegant in shape and action and cut very well. The Spartans were even known during the period of the Greek-Persian Wars of having blades that were maybe only a foot long, 12 inches, was their kind of go-to type of knife or sword to use these types of uh, weapons in combat. It is a very contemporary with the iron blades we see in the Celtic and Latin period. They are also, also similar in some of the blade shapes, so there's definitely probably some influence going back and forth between these cultures and what a sword should look like. But it would definitely have been an iron blade with uh, iron or bronze parts and then scale grips on a full-size tang held on with pins. That is kind of the classic Greek sword. It has a unique shaped scabbard, which has a large mouth block here that kind of mirrors the cross guard as far as width, straight down, and then usually a fairly elaborately decorated shape on the scabbard. As I said, this is a custom order we just finished up for somebody, but it is kind of a classic sword of ancient times and one that we thought you'd enjoy looking at. Uh, there's not many of the originals that survived, very few in fact, so it is nice to see one where we do it up with the period type of uh, finishes and things and create a piece that's an excellent sword. So if you don't have getting a original Xiphos in your budget, get a hold of us, maybe we can make one for you for your collection.